Hey folks, this clip is brought to you by Omaha Steaks. Visit omahasteaks.com and type in promo code VOLS, that's V-O-L-S, at checkout to fill your freezer with enough gourmet food to keep your cookouts going strong into the fall. That is omahasteaks.com, promo code VOLS. Yeah. But if you have a recruit coming in and they're seeing what Hypel is doing here, where basically it's just next man up, it doesn't matter who's playing, he's going to give you the ball in space, and his, his schemes almost spring you open. And then if you're an incredible athlete like a Jalen Hyatt, you, you just do – it's just that much better. Yeah. And, I mean, you you just got to – if you're a wide receiver in high school, how do you not look at that and just go like, oh, my gosh, I could go here and put up magic numbers. Well, think, of, so, think about the, the guys that came for the Florida game on recruiting business that all came out after and said, we're def, we're scheduled, we're coming back. Exactly. This was the most electric stadium we've been to yet, blah, blah, blah. It is. It's Neyland Stadium, for God's sake. You know what I mean? But it's Neyland Stadium when you're winning and it's rocking. That's so I, what you want for big-time recruits. We did a whole segment on the podcast last week, uh, or, or after the Florida win about this. But I, I want your input because we didn't talk about this. Obviously, Crump, you were a, a highly rated recruit coming out of high school. You had that entire experience. It's a little different now. It's, it's way more of a thing than it was maybe yeah. back then. But, like, if you were a recruit, sitting in that stadium last week and you got that experience and it was crazy. We read off like some recruit testimonies where they were like, it was insane. And then you just saw what happened here. What do you think? Like what, what it, goes to you? And that's the, I mean, I, I legit, I'm sitting here getting goosebumps thinking about it. Cause that's the, that's what Tennessee does to you. You know what I'm saying? I grew up a Clemson fan for God's sake. Hmm. Clemson offers me a scholarship, and I was like, no disrespect, but I, I'm going to play in the SEC for another orange. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, And I say that because it's different. It is. And when you're sitting in the recruiting session with your family in the end zone and the stadium's rocking and you're winning and the fans are going crazy on third down with our defense on the field or we're just driving it and punching it down their throat and there's nothing they can do, and you look at it and you go, this is what college football is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, So it's – and now, now that they have the second jumbotron and all the lights and all this stuff, I can only imagine what it is now. You know what I'm saying? All the the light, the strobe lights and everything. I can only imagine the feeling that these recruits get because it is electrifying. It is like it's it's going to be one of those deals that we're going to start getting a lot of these recruits that Bama used to get from everybody. And does the NIL hurt that? No, because Tennessee's got a lot of money. You're you know? you're entering that conversation as we speak you, yeah. you are like it i i would say georgia and alabama are looking around going damn it yep like this is a problem because yep. now Tennessee has the money the resources everything yep. to compete directly with them and the only thing that was missing was the wins on the football field yep. here we are and now they're coming and because i promise you if there's one thing tennessee will not be and whatever the rules are for NIL, as far as who can do this, who can do that, blah, 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 they won't be cheap. Thank if there's one thing that the whole state of Tennessee loves is football, they will not be cheap. They will not They will not lose a recruit because of NIL deals. From tailgate parties to busy weeknights, the flavor experts at Omaha Steaks have made it easy to savor all the flavors of fall with their mouthwatering assortments of perfectly aged steaks, ultra juicy burgers, and easy to prepare comfort meals that are ready in a flash. Right now, take advantage of 50% off site wide by shopping their semi annual sale. The sale only happens twice a year, and it is on right now. Now you get 50% off delicious customer favorites. And when you use promo code VOLS, that is V O L S at checkout, you get an additional $30 off your order. And guys, I've now had, the, uh, I've had the burgers. I've had the Franks. I've had the chicken from Omaha steaks. It is all phenomenal. It comes in this great freezer packed way right to your door. Incredibly convenient. Uh, I, I can't, say enough about it honestly so don't wait go to omahasteaks.com and enter balls at checkout and stock up on fall flavor today omaha steaks is perfect for those chilly and busy fall nights with entrees that are ready before the kids can even say what's for dinner and don't forget to use the promo code balls at checkout and score your extra 30 dollars off omaha steaks isn't just steak it is the best steak of your life guaranteed that's omahasteaks.com Promo code Vols at checkout. 
Minimum order may be required. Omaha Steaks, promo code VOLS. Yeah. Just, and that, that's a good thing to say. However the NIL deals need to get done, I promise you if it comes down to Tennessee and somebody else, Tennessee's going to get it done. Even in the in the even in the portal, because now your players now the guys don't have to sit out. Screw it, let's go, come right in. So imagine, imagine. All right, so Hendon's leaving. What power five quarterback goes? I, I want to play there next year. It's going to happen. Somebody's going to come in. I know Milton's going to lead the way. Blah blah blah. Who? What power five? Kid goes, man. I got one year of eligibility left. I need them for my draft stock. I'm out. I'm going. I'm going to Knoxville. It, it yeah. will happen. I mean, he's- that, that's that's the that's what we do. Hence Oklahoma, right? Jalen Hurts get a guy that goes, hey man, like I'm I'm a 26 two as a starter. Like I'm really good, but I need to go to the next level. Maybe somebody, maybe a young kid beat me out. Blah blah blah. But I, I've started 30 games. We're gonna start getting those recruits now instead of other teams. You're you're watching right now, and, and I think specifically about Brew McCoy. You're watching like a recruiting testimony unfold right in front of your eyes. <laughs> Brew having this big game. He comes in from USC last year, and he's he's blowing up. Heupel's making him money. That's oh, what's happening. No doubt. Heupel is making this man money in the future because he's out there looking like an NFL prospect. And you, who knows the the volumes that that speaks to recruits and transfers alike. It yeah. it has to just be absolutely massive. I ah, man, that that that's great. I <laughs> I love talking it, about that. It's only it's only positive from here, which is good. Yeah, you know, no matter what happens next week, next week does not fully define this season. Obviously, we're trying to we're we're going in expecting a win, and I think it's going to be a close ball game. But what I'm getting at is that does not define the rest of the season. The reality is, win, lose, or draw next week, we still got a chance to go to Atlanta. We go to Atlanta, that means you automatically have a chance for the playoff because it's the SEC. That is the fact of the matter. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, yep. I mean, th- like, think about this. You are five and zero. Oh. If you lose to Alabama, even the and and then don't lose until the Georgia game. You beat Kentucky. You take care of business. The Georgia game is for the SEC East. Yeah, that's how close you are. Well, but, you're that close. You can lose to Alabama and the Georgia games for the SEC East. But here, but here's what here's what I want everybody to understand. God forbid, right? We go ten and two. That's that's a phenomenal stat to say that God forbid we go ten and two, right? <laughs> but say 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 we go ten and two and we lose to Georgia and Bama. You know that's still an Orange Bowl, right? Yeah, Sugar Bowl. See what I'm getting at? Like it's it is still a, a New Year's Six Bowl because that means Georgia and Bama are going to SEC championship game. One of them is going to go instantly to the playoff, if not both, depending on the record. It's a New Year's Six game. You, that's, so that's what I'm getting at is like we're we're getting back to that conversation that we can have week in week out about regardless of what happens next week because look at Bama how once again how many teams have ever went 15 and 0 right one Bama has a history of losing one stupid game and winning the whole thing even without going to Atlanta next week does not define the season. If we win, it puts us in the conversation to be number two in the country. Bottom line. If we lose, we don't drop out of the top ten, though, because it's Alabama. Yeah. That, 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 that is – think of it. That is how, how long has it been since we can say, hey, we're either top two or three or top ten regardless.